cheerleader. Because he looks so good in jeans. Isn't that right, Glenn? Alright. So now, let's listen to how Glenn Beck handles a Medina supporter on his radio show. Yeah, Glenn, it's not our litmus test in the state of Texas. I mean, it's something people care about, but what position my governor has on that, I just think is, to me, it's not relevant. You know, I don't live in New York. Uh, I do think there's a lot of relevant things the government could be doing to help prevent that, but they're not. Border security, Mr. Beck, that's my concern. What happened on 9-11 does in some way concern us all, but it, why that should be your litmus test and how you can dismiss somebody by saying exactly the same thing you say. That is just the most hypocritical thing I've ever heard. All right, let's move right along. Let's talk about, you know, he's saying, well, how can you do that? You know, you got... Somebody that, as he was talking, saying to that caller, how can you support, you know, somebody for governor that hasn't taken a position on that? Well, let's listen to one of Governor Gardasil's positions. Texas is a unique place. Uh, when we came in the union in 1945, uh, one of the uh, issues was that we would be able to, to leave if uh, we decided to do that. My hope is that America, and Washington in particular, uh, pays attention. Uh, we got a great union. Uh, there's absolutely no reason to dissolve it. But if Washington continues to thumb their nose at, at, at the American people, you know, who knows what might came up. Don't uh, break. All right. <clears throat> so there's a. Uh, Rick Perry, and he's really not the sharpest tool in the shed. Apparently doesn't have a very good grasp of Texas history. I don't know if that's because of your subpar education or, uh, you know, what the deal is. But there was no agreement about secession. Now, actually people at that time and people earlier on, such as Thomas Jefferson, believed that it was the right of the states inherently to secede. Lincoln changed that, uh, or brought that into question with the murder of half a million people. But, you know, that's not something that was in that agreement. What you're probably thinking about is that Texas can be split into five different states at some point in time if it and the federal government so choose to do so. That's probably what you're thinking about there, Mr. Perry. But, like I say... You know, it's apparent that you don't know that much about Texas and its history. But, you know, the whole 9-11 uh, truther deal, I'm sure Glenn thinks that's very important. 
And that is a litmus test for every American. He's become the grand inquisitor of the conservative movement. All right. So, oh well, this is a conservative show, and being a conservative show, I have to at least bring up Barack Hussein Obama. Now, I don't agree with anything with this man, and he's constantly Glenn's on his case all the time. And I usually agree with Glenn. But one thing I will say is he talks the talk and he walks the walk. Which is a lot more than I can say about Glenn Beck. But with, uh, with Barack Obama and people like Glenn Beck, what you have to realize is they're just puppets of other powers. They are both members of the same elitist puppet squad. Just different puppet masters. With Barack Obama you've got the unions, you've got George Soros, you've got the gay people, all these other special interest groups that yank his chain. But as, as we have demonstrated, Beck probably has people yanking his chain too. I think maybe this time though, uh, yanking his chain did a lot of damage to the puppet. It might have done enough damage to uh, Medina that she won't make the runoff or Maybe enough that everybody will go over to Gardasil. I don't think that's going to happen, Glenn. I think the damage was done to Glenn Beck. Your credibility with conservatives in Texas is gone. So, what we've got here, actually, you know, supposedly these are two opposing forces, but actually what I would like to say is that Mr. Beck and Mr. Obama are just different sides of the same elitist coin. So I'm going to take them together. Here's the head side of the coin. Here's the tail side of the coin, Mr. Beck. So what to do now? what to do. I believe what we need to do is something that Apostle Claver of RagingElephants.org has been telling us to do. We need to identify evil. We need to remove it. We need to support politicians that will stand for the people and the Constitution, not special interest groups like people like Mr. Obama and Mr. Beck, both puppets of special interest groups. So here is what I think we Texans need to do. And let's listen to Apostle Claver on this issue. Jailhouse jury 